Can you tell where somebody's from just by looking at them? Can you? Can you? Can you? Their hair, their eyes, the skin tone, their height. The height. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Natalia. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join this amazing family. Okay, so today I brought you guys a very interesting video and I really hope that you guys like it. And with me, I have a very special guest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... With that being said, and without further ado, I will be representing Angola. And I'll be representing Gabon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and since I have introduced myself now, so let me go ahead. Hey guys, this is me, Selena, also known as Or Selena Didi. I'll my, be linking my channel's name her channel. or on the description. <laughs> Today, we are playing a little game between similarities and differences. So, I am representing Angola. And I'm representing Gabon. Yay! <laughs> so, in Angola, we speak Portuguese. And in Gabon, uh, the main language of instruction and of everyday life is just French. The colonizer's name. The colonizer's language, sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, and Angola is actually on the southwest or southwestern. Yeah, Gabon is Central Africa, pretty much. It's in the center, but also on the west coast of Africa. So it is uh, West Central. So it is central, but belonging to the west coast. So, yeah. And then um, Angola. Um, Angola's neighboring countries are DRC to the north, Zambia to the east, Namibia to the south. And the atlantic ocean on the west mm, same yeah the atlantic ocean is on the west part of gabon on a corner there is equatorial guinea it's on the it's, it's, it's like the north but like to the west as well so northwest is equatorial guinea and then you've got um the, the republic of congo congo brazzaville as we like to call it um on the east part on on, on the eastern and southern part because it's like this it goes like this yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes like this yeah. and then cameroon to the north so that's that's where gabon is located for you <laughs> okay and then guys the question that we asked can you tell just by looking at someone where they are from i like this question <laughs> um it is debatable uh the question the answer is yes and no. There are people that have generic looks to themselves, like they can fit in many boxes. Yes. You you really can't tell. But there are also people that are highly, highly, they are specimens. They are specimens of the ethnic groups of, 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 a, of a particular ethnic group within the country that they are found. And you just can't mistake them for anything else. Like you can't. Okay, yeah. so I beg to differ from what you just said because for me, unless you open your mouth, I will never ever be able to tell where a person is from. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the girl is Nigerian. <laughs> I have literally in the past, I have looked at Nigerians and Congolese and other girls from I don't know which countries, um, and I was like, they are from Angola. And in the end, they were all from these different countries. So I don't know about you guys, but I cannot tell if somebody's from a, from a certain country just by looking at them. As I said, it, 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 it depends. Like, okay, from my experience, I feel like us, I'm going to say us from the upper part of Africa because we're in the south, right? Mm. So us from the upper part, uh, from... You know, from the West Coast, let me let me exclude Senegal and maybe Mali. But like once you get to maybe Ivory Coast, Ghana also, yeah, 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 but still debatable a little bit. When you get to Nigeria, Cameroon and going down and Gabon and Congo, it's it it gets it gets really really tricky. We oh. we tend to have very similar looks to ourselves. Yeah, I also but feel also the in the way. east, like I've seen people online, and I'm I'm always like, okay, this is someone that I could have probably you know bumped into in Gabon. Like there's no difference. But 
people okay people for example like the maasai people mm -hmm. do you think you can mistake yeah yeah okay the maasai for another yeah. you can't or or the koisan like the pew 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 koisan oh. people from southern africa you, you can't you really can't. go wrong no. me when i look at a senegalese person i can tell this person is is is, 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 is probably senegalese because i kind of know what they look like like they could have that particular look to themselves. It it depends. It depends. Yeah. But yeah. like I'm just I just I just I just feel like, you know, sometimes you might you know, some some countries are known for like the pretty dark skin tone. And sometimes like Kenyans, Sudanese people, Somalians Ooh, I think as Sudan, well. Sudan where their melanin tone, resides. <laughs> their skin tone is just gorgeous. And sometimes when I look at some people and I I try and guess like you are probably from there just because of mm, the skin tone. Mm, but then mm, again, mm. they're not from there. So I just stopped guessing, but that's me. Africa is very diverse. You very. must not um you must not ignore the fact that there there were migrations in the past. Yeah. And there are people that were on the east side that ended up on the western side. True. Yeah. So True. I mean, come on, we all know okay, I hope we do about the Bantu expansion. You yeah. know, in the uh, it's it's a long time ago man but yeah the bantu expansion obviously you know the bantu people they came from i'm bantu native and yeah I'm even me Angola, so. yeah i'm also bantu like we we the whole of gabon yeah so they, it's, they it's, are bantu ethnic groups and bantu people can, can look really similar to mm, each other you know true, true. But like now we want to know your opinions. What do you think yeah. about this? Can you tell just by looking at someone? Can you guess if they're from Namibia, Angola, Somalia? By the way, if you can, you really literally have superpowers. I'm not joking. <laughs> I mean it. And then we would like to speak about food, which lies more into our similarities. Oh, yes, girl. You can talk about that. <laughs> uh, okay. So what are your favorite meals from your country? From from my country, yeah. I don't own the country. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So um, in Gabon, my favorite meal has always been um, cassava leaves, pondu, Ooh. kizaka, whatever you want to you call know, it. We did not speak about this. I'm not lying, and that's my favorite. Girl, of, it's, it's everybody's favorite. I know. <laughs> it's everybody's favorite. Some people call it pondu. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, those are the best guys. Mm -hmm, but anyways, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. that's it is as well for me. Mm -hmm. And also, like you know, now we are both native from the Bantu. And then now, can you tell me um, three of the main ethnic groups in Gabon? Yeah, the major ethnic group is the Fang people. F F A N G. Yeah. Fang. The Fang. The, yeah, the Fang. Fang. The Fang. Oh. Yeah um you also find them in cameroon and equatorial guinea like that that is their homeland yeah oh. that that no northern region of gabon cameroon the south of cameroon okay. and also in equatorial guinea because in, in equatorial guinea over 90 percent of the population is fang like it's really the homeland of the fang people oh, you know that's the first time i'm hearing that term the fang yes oh okay i didn't know yeah and then you get uh, uh people like the bapunu mm. yeah uh, they are also in Congo Brazzaville because okay. the homeland was there, and you know the colonizers came and they decided, okay, let's break this up into two. You know, you already <laughs> know the story. So yeah, the Bapunu people. You also get the the Miene, which I'm Miene. Yeah, we make up about uh, I would say maybe seventeen percent. It's 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 over ten percent, and oh. that's a great percentage. Oh. Yeah, we are we we are on the west coast, so I'm an island. Well, I like to say island because where I'm from. Like Poshan the city is almost it's almost like an island. Okay. So <laughs> you get that island energy from me probably. <laughs> I yeah, don't know. <laughs> the Miene, you get the Miene, the Bapunu, the Fang, you the Nzebi, the Obamba people. There there are many, but these are some of the major groups. Oh, okay. So in Angola, the main the three main ethnic groups are Obviously, I wouldn't forget about where I'm, I wouldn't forget to represent myself. I'm Bakongu, so <laughs> Bakongu, Ovimbundu, and Ambundu. But like, yeah, so it's the Ambundu, Ovimbundu, and Bakongu, and I'm Bakongu representing. Yeah, so, man, yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, man. And then to end this video, we would like to speak about the main languages that are spoken in Angola, which you guys might have heard in some of my videos. 
and the, the languages that are spoken in Gabon. So I will go first and I'll say that in Angola, um, the languages that I've heard are Fioti. Other main languages spoken in Angola are Fioti, Chokwe, Kikongu, Ochivambu, Umbundu, and Kimbundu. And now that I'm actually saying this, isn't Ochivambu spoken in Namibia as well? Anyways, yeah. Can you tell us a word or some in word Fioti. in Fioti? Yeah. How um, do you, the, the basic. Hi, how are you? Guys, <laughs> arrest this person, please. Guys, I arrest have told her. you guys about the fact that I cannot speak my home language. I'm not very proud of it, but I can say... Um, Bote! It's yes, bote. it's Bote! <laughs> yeah. How do you know, though? Come on, man. I'm I'm from Angola, man. Like I mean, this I'm girl, from Gabon. I don't I don't think she's from she's from she's from Gabon. She's I'm a Gabon. proud African girl. And she I speaks I speak Portuguese too, guys. Like how hola, did you hola, hola. <laughs> Anyways, now you. Yeah. So um, the languages spoken go hand in hand with mm -hmm. the ethnic groups that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So the Fang, they speak the Fang language. It's mm -hmm. called the Fang language. Mm -hmm. mm, the Bapunu people speak the ipunu language mm -hmm. but we we just tend to say punu but really it's ipunu okay ipunu language okay. and um the miene uh where i'm from we speak the miene the miene language it's called miene it's just called miene some people call it omiene but ah, i just say miene man I, I cannot bother myself with it i cannot bother so in miene in my language uh hi is pretty generic uh it's um it's actually it's Mbolowe. Mbolowe. Oh. Mbolowe. It's, it's like hi to you. Okay. Yeah. That's very close to Molweni. Yeah, it is. I know, I know, I know, I know. Mm. I know that. I know. Mm. <laughs> and then, uh, how are you? Oh, sorry. Before I go further. Um, to one person is Mbolowe. And then to many people is Mbolwani. Oh. Mbolwani. Mm -hmm. Wow. It really sounds a lot like Molweni. No? Yeah, of course. Mm. Bantu languages, <laughs> yes, it's somehow tied yeah. down somewhere. You can say many things. You can say "merevovo" means like I'm I'm here. It means like I'm I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> I'm around. I'm around. Merevovo. I'm around. Or you can say you, you can just say "biambi." Biambi means good. Good. That's that's good. that's that's. Merembiambi. So yeah. Merembiambi. Yeah. Merembiambi. <laughs> okay guys um i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i will be linking like i said in the beginning um selena's um channel in the description <clears throat> box if you guys want us to do another video actually let me do it this way if this video gets a hundred likes i'll bring selena yeah! back to the channel and this is all we have for you guys nice meeting you <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye.